Welcome to the Blood Pressure Challenge Project. In this project, we construct an automated blood pressure monitor controlled by LabVIEW. The Vernier LabQuest, or sensor DAC, drives a Vernier digital control unit and reads the blood pressure with a Vernier blood pressure sensor. The small air pump, bleed valve, and solenoid controlled relief valve are scavenged from an inexpensive home blood pressure system. The T valves are used to diagnose the system but are not required for the system's operation. When the VI starts, the pump is activated to inflate the cuff and the solenoid valve is held closed. At a pressure of 160 millimeters of mercury, the pump is stopped and the pressure slowly comes down through the bleed valve. At this point, individual pulses can be seen in the blood pressure trace. As the blood pressure is reduced, the amplitude of these pulses increases to a maximum and then begins to decrease. While the blood pressure bleeds out of the cuff, let's take a look at the LabVIEW VI that's controlling the system. The main program is in a loop that runs during the entire data collection process. The Analog Express VI monitors the Vernier blood pressure sensor. The Digital Express VI controls the DCU to start and stop the pump and hold the solenoid valve closed. The rest of the logic in the loop turns the pump off at 160 millimeters of mercury while leaving the solenoid valve closed until the end of data collection. At this point, the collected data is sent to the blood pressure analysis VI, which does the calculations to determine the systolic and diastolic pressures. Just above ambient pressure, at 8 millimeters of mercury, the solenoid valve opens to release the remaining air in the cuff. The entire run of collected data is then passed to the blood pressure sub-VI, which computes the systolic and diastolic pressure readings. For more information, visit vernier.com.